Breaking research has linked pesticides to a mass monarch butterfly die-off in California. While collecting field data located next to an overwintering site, researchers came across hundreds of monarch butterflies that were twitching and dead in piles. Since the butterflies were exhibiting signs of neurotoxicity poisoning, the researchers tested 10 butterflies for pesticides. The results were nothing short of shocking. They detected 15 different pesticides with each butterfly testing positive for an average of 7 pesticides. While it was a small sample size, the peer-reviewed study adds to a mountain of research indicating the damaging effects of pesticides on pollinator species. Monarch butterflies are an important pollinator species that have declined by over 90% in the last several decades. You can help these pollinators by leaving fallen branches, logs, and leaves in your property, avoiding herbicide and pesticides, and encouraging neighbors to do the same, and diversifying your lawn with native grasses and wildflowers. The most important wildflower for monarchs is milkweed because it's a critical food source and host for their eggs. Three important milkweed varieties to plant are common, showy, and swamp milkweed. This is the native map for common milkweed, here is the native map for showy milkweed, and here is the native map for swamp milkweed. To check what milkweed and flowers are native to your area, you can also use Bonap's mapping systems. To help you all start planting milkweed, I'll give everyone a free pack of milkweed seeds with your heirloom seed order made on my site between now and this Sunday, August 31st. You can go to myhealthforward.com or at the link in my bio to look through all the heirloom, wildflower, and native grass seeds that I carry.